Welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Today, we will explore the family tree of Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Fiel Garcia. The Garcias of Cebu are one of the few families who can prove a Spanish heritage, who have identified their first Spanish ancestor in the country, and who could go up the family tree a few generations further in Spain. This particular Garcia family is a family who first settled in Sibonga and then Dumanho, both in the province of Cebu. This Garcia family is different from the other Garcias in Cebu or even the Philippines. Thanks to Claveria's 1849 decree, thousands of people all over the Philippines carry similar family names without the slightest bit of blood relation. As of 2019, the surname Garcia continues to be ranked as the second most common last name in the Philippines just a few hundred thousand carriers below the number one surname, De La Cruz. The Spanish ancestors of Governor Gwen Garcia are from Ciudad Real. Ciudad Real is actually the name of both a city and the province the city is located in. This city is part of the autonomous community of Castile-La Mancha. From its founding in 1255 up until the 15th century, Ciudad Real experienced a pre period of growth. The increase in its population and production activities such as wool, leather and wine led the Catholic monarchs to look favorably on the city choosing it as the home for extremely important government institutions. In 1833, the province of Ciudad Real was finally created, with the city as its capital. The Spanish War of Independence reached Ciudad Real with the defeat of Spanish troops by Napoleon's forces at the Guandiana Bridges with these forces occupying the city up until 1813. It is interesting to note that the leading citizens of the city live closer to the parish of Nuestra Señora del Prado, the parish of the Garcias. Since most of the city's prominent families lived around or near the parish of Nuestra Señora del Prado, there is a chance that the Garcia family once enjoyed some sort of eminence in their community considering they were longtime residents, residents of the parish. The first in the Spanish lineage of Governor Gwen Garcia was a Francisco Garcia who lived in the middle of the 1500s. Now, from Francisco Garcia, he had a son and namesake, Francisco Garcia, and then down to seven generations further, up to Pablo Antonio Garcia, for seven generations or more, they lived and died in Ciudad Real. The first of the Spanish Garcias to set foot in the Philippines was Pablo Antonio Garcia. He was listed a resident of Cebu between 1869 to 1870, but by the 1870s he was already living in Sibonga, Cebu, and was recorded to have made a simple living out of metal collection, marble cutting, drilling, and carpentry. 
However, by 1885, he was already a Juez de Paz of Sibonga, and by the late 1800s, he was already known as an agricultor. And by 1910, he was honored as the oldest Spaniard in Cebu. He married an insulares by the name of Nieves Fortich y Gonzalez, who was of the Cebu and Bukidnon Fortiches. The document beside Don Antonio Pablo Garcia was a signed document that Pablo Garcia did when the Americans took over the Philippines. He refused to swear allegiance to the Americans and instead opted to remain legally as a Spanish subject. The original document is still with the Garcia family. So as already mentioned, Francisco Garcia, the son of the first Garcia, Francisco Garcia as well, had Manuel Garcia whose son, Luis Garcia, was the father of Sebastian Garcia, himself the father of another Sebastian Garcia, who was the father of Manuel Garcia Melgar and another Sebastian Garcia. Manuel Garcia Melgar, with his second wife, Antonia Donaire, had the following children, Josefa Antonio Antonia Jacinta, Manuela Jacinta, Manuel Benito, Joseph Antonio, Ramon Garcia Melgar, who married Isabel Fernandez Arias. Ramon and Isabel had the following children, Agustin Castor, Ramona Vicenta, Manuela Justa, Juan Pablo Antonio, Pablo Antonio, Benita Francisca, and Maria de la Encarnacion Garcia. Pablo Antonio married Petrona Maria Nieves Fortich y Gonzalez in Sibonga, Cebu. And they had the following children Ramon Garcia, Antonio Garcia, Pablo Garcia. Isabel Garcia, Enrique, Asuncion, and Encarnacion. Now, we're interested in tracing the direct line of Governor Garcia. So, Governor Garcia's direct lineal ancestor, the first in their family to be born in the Philippines after the migration of their ancestor, Pablo Antonio, was Antonio Garcia, who married Inday Oracoy, from Hinatilan, Cebu. They had at least two children, Vicente and Teresita. Vicente Garcia married Josefa Paras of the Dumanhug and Barili Parases. They had the following children, Jesus P. Garcia, whose family founded and currently operates Sunstar, Cebu, we have Pablo P. Garcia, former governor of Cebu, former representative of the 2nd District of Cebu, as well as deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. And then there was Loreto Garcia. And then there was Tomas Garcia, the first in the family to venture into politics, served as mayor of Dumanhug, Cebu. Then there's Maria, Andrea, Marcos, and Innocentes Garcia. Pablo Garcia married Esperanza Fiel, and they had the following children. Gwendolyn, current governor of Cebu. Then there's Deirdre. And then there's Winston Garcia, former GSIS general manager. And then he had a brother, Nelson F. Garcia, 
used to be mayor of Dumanhog. We have Byron F. Garcia. And then we have Marlon F. Garcia, who currently sits as mayor of Barili, Cebu. Farla Garcia, and the youngest in the family, Pablo John F. Garcia, who is currently a representative to Congress. And that is our brief presentation of the family tree of Governor Gwen Garcia of Cebu. We hope you learned something new from this presentation and we hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again in our next videos. Take care always, stay safe, and goodbye.